Uh, how dare you compare chess to your childish video games over there? Well, at the end of the day, but you still play all your chess. Energy, yeah. At the end of the day, he was taking L from either playing chess with me or playing Madden. Are we doing a sound check? We're actually uh, recording. I mean, I'm recording. I can cut it out. All right, what episode is this? 161. 161. What's 122. up, y'all? Tony, are you is he in the picture? Yeah, everybody's. In the oh, because I can't see. Well, the, the oh, red button's right there, but he'll be in it. Are they recording? What's the episode yeah. about, Tony? Oh, shit. Oh, it's ready? about taking initiative. Get out yeah. of the way, Romo. No, nah, you stay in it. Down in front. Down in front. Well, I'm not, not in the, the, I'm not not in the, in the camera. I don't have to be in the camera, but I'm still here. We yeah. don't want, we, we just go away. Nah, you do huh. Oh, go there he is. I, so, what did you say last time that I, I'm the director, right? I own this fucking... Alright, fine. I said, he's We're CEOs. Alright, anyway. Alright, fuck it. I took the... What happened? I'm gonna be an asshole. I'm gonna take the initiative and get in the episode. Oh, nice. Okay, so take an initiative. Oh, this whole episode's already gone to shit. You sat right on the remote. Well, get that foot. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know you didn't feel it. You, you know what we're you, like right now? He used to have stuff up his ass. That's yeah, we're, we're like the emotions on uh, Inside Out. You know what you're like right now? And I just saw that. What emotion like, are you? I feel like joy right now. Joy? Joy. Yeah. He's anger. And what am I? You're a uh, scared one, I guess, right now? Dopey? For what? Scared? scared of what? You, no, I'm not scared. Dopey? Sarcastic? Yeah, the green one. Snide remarks. Sick. That would be me or him. Or was that like that would like be more you than me? Okay, and then there's like a blue one that's the scary one. That's, the, that's the fucking he's sad the blue one. one. Right now I'm just I'm having the joy. No, right he's now. not. No, he's not. He's <laughs> blue one was definitely a mask. The red one was anger. Yeah, but just because he's wearing it doesn't mean. Might as well be shit. Yeah. Fucking uh, so take an initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Take the initiative. What's the initiative? Oh well. You just took it right now, like yeah. bringing us back on track. Taking, right? taking charge, yeah. you know. So taking action, right? Yeah. Without having being told to yeah. do something that's like this. Yeah. I thought he was gonna tell. Me. I thought he was gonna tell. Me. No, 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 no. I was gonna. I wanted y'all to say it. That's basically no, it. I see. We're sharing. Yeah. So, uh, what, what made you wanna do this time? Oh well, you know, uh, honestly, today at work, nobody except for one person might have to take initiative. They weren't showing any. Like, you know, any what freaking some of these supervisors, man, like, I don't know. I always, like, when I'm up there, right, and I'm working, I like to help out right. a little bit. You know, you would put it over here. I know, he's, like, offering me the cup. Like, I'm like, damn. No, did you want those? No. Anyways, but yeah, I like to, like, you know, help out, like, you know, just like today when uh, I saw that my cage was down, I saw another one was full. Without even being told, I went over there because I right. saw my supervisor doing doing the work. So I was like, oh. and you still had some energy. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, you know what? I might as well go over here while he has to go handle some other business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why I think me and him were like taking the initiative because right. he knew that there was work that needed to be done, and I also knew. So we both had to go do something without even being told by somebody else that we got to go do it. How did you yeah. feel taking the initiative? I felt pretty good, you know, I felt like more mature than ever when I take initiative of doing something without even being told. It's you know? good, it's good. Why do, you, why do you feel like you and your manager did and other people didn't? It's lazy. More, well... It sounds very judgmental, like maybe why, why don't you think maybe, they have the initiative? Like I said, we'll that's get into a deep the future. Breed. That's a deep breed. Well, they, don't, they don't take pride in their job. Yeah, they don't yeah. want to be there. They just look at job as I'm here, now pay me, I'm going to move. I'm going to move at my pace. You know, I don't care about the production. I don't care about the numbers. I don't care that my part, that my, the one next to me is working slow or fast. I'm going to work that, hard. Uh, yeah. That uh, self-respect. You yeah. don't have any self-respect. Yeah, you know? yeah, you, 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 just, don't, yeah you, you don't care if people look at you like just being lazy, just standing yeah. there, ignoring your work, or on right. your phone the whole time. You, you know, know what I'm like, you know, and then it's like, like your self-respect for yourself, when there's none left, you're starting to bring everybody else down with you. Yeah, you just do certain come, things. You, you know. have like no shame and then you're just negative. And, yeah. So, but yeah. Um, and that what? movie Get Out, like whenever sadness touched the memory, it turned blue. No, Inside Out. You said Get Out. Yeah, yeah Get Out. That's oh, the movie. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> the movie Inside Out. Uh, whenever she touched the memory, they 
turn blue. That's what people like when they're all that negative. Like they're when they're around, it just turns everything blue and shit. It's like, oh, chill. Too negative. Anybody have any initial moments? Anybody else? Oh man, I had them all the time. I had to learn how to control them. Cause when I when I when I first started working at my job, uh, it was like eight years ago and. And me too, man. I don't know why, where I get that from, but I always want to do good. I mean, I had to kind of confront that recently because when I'm not doing good at work, that shit affects me because I'm, I'm used to doing good. Like when I was a kid, I did good at school all the time. And uh, and I got praised from teachers. So that, that was like fulfilling for me. And uh, when I started working, I was gonna get job. And I kept like, I would move up and shit. And so I always got praised. And so I was like, there was always a feeling and shit. Yeah. So whenever I, recently when I was like, cause there's so many positions at my job. Whenever I'm, I, I did something that I felt like, oh, I'm not good at this. It was, uh, instead of me thinking, well, you just, maybe you'll get better. I'm used to fucking being spoiled and be like, well, I'm always good at shit anyway. Yeah. But now I'm not good at it. This is fucking shocking to me. It kind of threw me off guard. And, and so I gotta learn how to take the initiative and just like it's just learn how to do it because not everything's gonna come to me. Most yeah. people, not everything just comes to them. I just been fucking lucky that a lot of shit just comes from fucking comes to me. Yeah, because I, I just have that instinct of like if I have energy, I'm gonna help somebody if they if it looks like they need help. I'm gonna go out of my way and be like, yo, you need some help with this, especially if I'm on the clock. But if I if I need some if I need some time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the initiative. Hide my ass for a couple of weeks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes I realize that being taking initiative sometimes means you're like the unseen boss, unseen manager. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, I know, it's a lot of times at work that I, I, I handle stuff or I do some stuff that 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 normally wouldn't get done. You know what I'm saying? But I saw that it needed to get done. And yeah. no, I, I, and obviously, you know, yeah, it would be nice to get praised for it. But that's not what I do. I do it because I want this shit to get done. I want to get the fuck out of here. And I want to, I want to, I want the job done right. You know what I'm saying? So so sometimes taking initiative just means being the the un, being the unsung hero. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. like uh, you know like like even though people don't see you taking charge, you still take charge. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's something that's having pride in yourself. That's why I work. Ain't no one ever get me down. Everybody can say you don't do much. I'm like you don't see what I do, fam. Right. You know what I'm saying? I work. I, I work. I work for. I know time. what I do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I know what's up. God know knows what, what I do. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie. There did, there was a time where like, well, I guess I don't know if it was technically taking initiative because I was told to do it. But then again, I didn't know it was like me to be done. Cause you know I'm still doing what I gotta do, and then um. But what was it? Well, you know I just had to go like to other areas to uh, finish up work, and like you know I wouldn't have problems with it, like right. at the time being. But then later on I started get, kind of getting bothered because like it'll always be me. Like I felt like I was getting punished a little bit. Yeah, I felt like that too. Like almost like forgot they just asked me to do because they know nobody else is gonna do it but they're yeah. not gonna do it's good i think that's actually what it was because they like could count on me to do yeah. it yeah and then you feel, like, you feel like, used after a while i'm just like yeah but like yeah that's what i'm saying just like well man like i mean i get that you count on me and respect that but at the same time you need to take initiative to tell these other folks yeah. so you can count on them too right because you're gonna wear out this employee yeah. and then you're gonna lose them for a couple of days i drive you nuts yeah and then you're gonna be stuck with all these people that don't know what to do because yeah. you haven't been making them do it in those times like it should be balanced and shit but a lot of people yeah. want like to manage easy but, but um yeah but back to what you were saying about the not trying to get uh what you say praise yeah. for it uh, not expecting praise Oh uh, yeah, and not requiring. No, and it's not gonna happen because that's not how you. No, that's not why you do it. You know what I'm saying? True. And then you were saying, uh, what did you say like, unsung the, hero? Uh, yeah. So, would you say that you, I guess, trying to make a name for yourself or no? That's the opposite. Mm-hmm. What I said. Yeah. yeah cause I, like I said, okay. I, like I said, I like the shit I do. It's just no one knows I do. When it gets done, it helps everybody else out. You know and just everybody ends up knowing who you are. Probably not. I think the angels Probably do. not. Probably I, not. Think, I think God and the angels do. They see what he does or yeah. what we do. And they're like, we're, I think they're like, 
Y'all just do hold it down down there. Cause for where I'm from, I hold down my area. I hold down the slide. I help out everybody else. I hold down the bottom slide. But no one, e rig sometimes too. But no one, you know, that's not. It's not like I'm out there like you don't see me. You know what I'm saying? It's a little shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel on the slide. Like when I tell Chili, watch out for that packet that's sticking out of this cage. That probably saved the box line a good 20 seconds of just being slow. And now, honestly, you know, that 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 adds up. Yeah. yeah. The cages no, stop over cages. and over and over. It's going to add up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, me by me helping those people not keep those cages going, I'm doing something, but it's from behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? No one knows I'm keeping that the slide, helping the slide keep going, but I am. You know what I'm saying? Would you consider it taking, it taking initiative if you know you're going to be told this anyway? Like, yeah, yeah, like if yeah, your parents, so, if, so if, 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 if your parents expect you to make your bed every morning and you and you're gonna wake up and make it before they even ask if you made it, that's an issue, you know what I'm okay. saying? It's an issue. Yeah, like being a supervisor, seeing employees do that, it's like we don't have to ask them, like they, they already know what to do. It makes our job a lot easier. All I have to do is paperwork, I don't have to like babysit you, I can just let you do your job, and I just have to do observations, do my own paperwork job on you, and then that's it. It's basically how it's supposed to be. Cause sometimes I, I don't know why I feel this way, but sometimes I like kind of feel, I guess, not guilty. I don't know. I don't know what the word would I say. What shame. I feel, but maybe shame. But like, about what? When like I, I I do it, like I just do it because I know I'm gonna be told to do it anyway. Like sometimes I just feel like I'm not really taking initiative. Well, because well that's not. Well, it's also discipline. Okay. It's initiative taking the. It, well, you, you realize in the fact that it's discipline, and you just have to do it. That's that's also part of initiative, I think, because okay. people are just like, ah, oh, they don't have the discipline, so they're just gonna put it off until somebody tells them. Yeah, you have to do it, but you don't have to do it at your best way or in a good way, or you don't have to put your touch yeah. on it, but you do, and it comes out a little bit like, oh, I'm, I, I noticed, you know, Tony did this line or whatever, or Vino did this line or whatever y'all do. I It shows whether you, but it just shouldn't. I don't know. Like, it, shows, like it doesn't matter if you want to do it or not. It's just the fact that you did it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it just shows the leadership skill to you. you know, it shows that. I think the initiative part is doing it leadership. well. Yeah, like doing it good, like not half-assing it. Yeah, or it's just doing those little things that not, not the common person does. And, and yeah. you do them not because you want a reward or for me to tell you good job. You do it because it just helps everybody else out. Yeah. Like you don't want praise for it. You, just, you don't even want to know what you're doing. You do it. You just do it because. Yeah. It's bonus. If somebody sees you doing it and they give you a pat on the back, that's some bonus shit right there. Like, you should That's the one thing I try to notice as a, as a supervisor. I always try to thank people for doing. Yeah. Appreciate it, you working so hard. Yeah. Just the little things that they do. That'll get you going for a couple of weeks. <laughs> you ain't so. Well, sometimes I do want people. I'm not going to lie. I do want people knowing that I'm yeah. doing it just so they can see what type of person I am. Well, they trained us in school to want credit. Credit. They trained us to want a gold star and a credit we, card. Or some horse. Or what is yeah. it? Not a credit card. Or some horse. Report card. Yeah. We want 100, we want 96. Probably, we want to see probably, probably the reward of just being humble. You know, because you don't, you don't want the, you don't want them to recognize you, but you do it at the same that's time. That's the thing. It's a, yeah. a catch twenty two. That's the thing. Being, there is no reward. Being yeah. humble, you gotta be okay with that. You know yeah. What I'm that's not that's not why you should do it's it. It's like you're okay with it if people notice it or you're okay with it if they do notice it. You know, it's, it is what it is. I'm doing it because I'm doing it for everybody else, not to be afraid. You know. That's that's basically how you gotta look at it. If they notice it's probably more for them than for you anyway. Yeah, like so time, Yeah. But do you realize it or not? Yeah, so out, check out check out the And then not get mad also yeah. when we don't notice it either. Because that's the whole point of it. You you act, you'll get a grown ego to yourself that you're always doing it. You want recognition, and when we don't notice it, and you're not getting it, you know, you're forgetting the whole point of doing it. It's not for you; it's for everybody else. Right. You know, you remember you started to not wanting the recognition. You wanted to just do it for everybody else. I got an example. All right. Sure. So I got a couple examples. One of the examples that came up that nobody knows is that um, so sometimes you go into a, a restroom that your coworkers use, right? Some people don't have fucking restroom masks in the in the meaning that they don't wipe the fucking seat or they don't like there's like they left shit or piss behind and shit, you know. So me being probably a little O C D or whatever, but sometimes I'll fucking like clean up after them. Like 
Like, I would make sure I don't touch the piss. But I clean up after myself. Like, I get, like, some paper and, like, because I, I sprinkle, man. I splash and shit, right? And I don't know who's going to come in next and shit. And I make sure I, you know, spray and make sure there's no shit splatter. I try to flush a couple times. You know, people don't normally do that shit. They'll just leave. They'll leave it fucking trash. You're insane. Yeah. You're insane. I, I guess I am. You are insane. Because, dude, I tell you. When I used to work at Kroger, I was a crazy clerk. I didn't even want to get paid to do that shit, bro. Right. I feel bad for <laughs> Custodians gotta do that shit all fucking day. Yeah, I mean, the kids, for them. bro, because I work See? at a school. The kids piss on the floors. They already gotta deal with the fucking bro, nasty ass kids. That's what I'm saying. That's enough motivation right there, like for me to not leave a mess. Because I know <laughs> nobody else would want to like clean up your shit. Yeah. So like it's when I see people just like leave that type of shit behind, I'm like, bro, you gotta feel like savage. Savage. Like, I guess little kids don't know better. When I went to Jimmy John's, this was be- actually before I got there. Some kids know, man. It depends on the parents. Dude, this, they said there's this one little kid that literally goes to the bathroom. He'll always call, like, come in, go to the bathroom, and just piss all over the floor. Just keep doing it. Yeah. Like, don't even try to, like, aim this right. He'll literally just go in and just piss all over the floor. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, what if, what if you can't aim? What if this dude has, like, a micro or some shit? Like, who knows? I what? don't know. But his parents need to, like... Handle that shit. Like, he needs to be sitting down. His, until his, his, somebody but, needs to take the initiative and teach this kid how to. His dad, his dad, apparently his dad was his dad, bro. Oh, that's like, like maybe what I'm talking about. That yeah. see, that's gonna make that's like that's cause make trauma. Yeah. Hey, that's that's not the way to do it. You gotta put his face in it like a dog. Oh my that's god, that's crazy. Chris, 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 you didn't get us monetized. That's like a YouTube demonetized. We gotta get monetized before we can get demonetized. Gonna put us on the radar and we're gonna get us taken off the radar for uh, Monetize. Alright, so another one, a more lighthearted one. Point. Like at, at my school, there's bulletin boards and there's borders and there's the, we, we drop pictures, we push it on there and kids will fuck with it, right? So, like, we're supposed to, like, if you see like a border hanging or it's falling apart, go to a classroom, get a stapler and just fucking staple it, get, get right. So, I was like, that's a lot. So, instead, I bought a little stapler on Amazon, like a little tiny one. Uh-huh. I keep it in my backpack and I just bust it out when I'm going through the hallway. And you just bust that hoodie. Yeah. Spraying and praying? Yeah, it's like a little piece shoe, like a little white one that I just pop and then I just fix all the bolts and boards. I'm just pull the blick? Yeah. I'm <laughs> just, they have a little blicky. Yo, we were talking about initiative, bro. Yeah, initiative. And we, we, we stopped. I don't know why. Because we, because we, Dina, we were very excited about doing the Chakra episode. I see, he wants to blame yeah. I was very excited. He's taking the initiative to blame Vino right now. Man. We gotta do the Stitches episode, bro. <laughs> I gotta get that shit out of my system, bro. Oh my god. Jeez. Okay. But no, nah, what I was trying to say earlier was that there's another time where I took the initiative and um, it was about my cousin, right? So. I don't know what the freak happened, but like apparently he had like something going on with his ex girlfriend or whatever. And um he lived he lived he lived out in uh Addison. And so one day my parents are out of town, it was just me and my sister at the crib. I get a phone call with my dad. It was like freaking like one or two o'clock in the morning. And it's so it's scary. Yeah, so I was like, what the heck is going on? So I, my dad called me and he was like, hey, your cousin looks cool. Uh, so like, I'm like, okay. So I knew something was up because he doesn't just pull up out of nowhere. Especially at that time. Yeah. Pulls up in a cop car. He's driving it? No. He's oh, not. no. Oh, he's driving, yeah, he's driving it, but I'd be worried. <laughs> but no, nah, he's, the cop like dropped him off. He was drunk. So I'm like, bro, what the? I'm like, are you serious, dog? So... We're all mad, basically, because we, like, got yeah, woken up. up. Yeah, bro. Because my dad's not in town, enjoying it, trying to enjoy his vacation and dealing with this. Me and my sister, we're just trying to freaking get our sleeping before we have to go to work and stuff. So, yeah, all that happened. And so, days go by. He goes back to, like, get his stuff. And then he comes back. But I guess, like, he thought... He could stay with us, but my dad was like, no, you can't stay with us. This is his brother? No, that's my cousin. Oh, okay. But, um, so yeah, so he was like, 
Yeah, he pulled up, pulled back up, thinking he could stay with us. My dad was like, nah, you can't stay with us. You have to find, you have to find your own way or whatever. Where does he live? He lived at the Addison with his girl, but then like, she kicked him out. I know. Like, <laughs> so apparently, drama he back up. Yeah, drama happened between them two, and then so like he was trying to get away from that. So he like was trying to move out and stuff. And so he thought he could stay with us for a couple days. And my dad was like, no. So I took the initiative, the initiative to convince my dad to let him stay. Because I knew, like, my dad was just, like, pissed at him. So he didn't, like, want to help him out. But so I, like... You know he would regret it later if he did. I don't know. No, lucky, I don't know. But I was like, all right, dad, I think, like, you don't want him here probably don't even want to look at him and all that but the thing is you're not here like you're you're out of town so let's just like let him stay here until like you come back at least at yeah. least so then my dad said these way this kind of made me kind of upset but he said okay he can stay here but if he like does anything crazy or whatever like this is all my sister i wakes her up in the middle of the night he said he's gonna kick him and me out. Wow. So, yeah, that's another story for another time. Like, I got like, I'm trying to enjoy my vacation. I'm not gonna keep calling me. But like, he was basically like, so yeah. So I'm I basically, on my phone. Yeah. yeah. So at the end of the day, I took the initiative to just like help my cousin out. You know, so he so, did like, stay. Was, yeah, he stayed. And, but, he, and everything was cool. Okay. Yeah, everything worked out. Did you feel like you were on, on your toes? Like you had to make sure that everything was like, make sure he went to sleep, yeah. make sure he wasn't Well, no, sure. not really. Just because I knew the only, the real problem was is that it was this girl. Like, mm -hmm. this girl had me, like, this girl was really toxic. So I think he just needed to get away from that type of vibe for him to start acting like. He needed a new environment. Yeah. So, I mean, he's doing better now, so. Yeah, yeah. That's, time, to, that's important, man. Yeah. Because uh, cause if he didn't have y'all, I mean, who knows what could have yeah. happened? I mean, it was the only family he has out here because I don't think his mom stayed out here. So, yeah. It, like, I, like, I was just like, in my head, like, I was just like, bro, like, he can't go nowhere else, obviously. Like, we're all these guys out here. Yeah. His mom, I think his mom stayed out was At the time, I think his mom stayed out in Mississippi. Yeah, I don't even know, I don't even know his dad, so. Yeah, working at a school, man, I, I, sometimes I have to uh, take that initiative to, even if I don't feel like it, and a kid comes up and starts talking to me, mm -hmm. you know, I'll talk to them, and I'll converse, and I'll entertain the conversation and stuff. And, that, and because of that, there's been at least two or three kids that have told me things that I've had to, like, report the CPA. Like, they trusted me enough to tell me shit. So you're like a counselor in a way? Yeah, but I don't get paid like it, but yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but yeah, I mean, you know, and then, so, so just doing, because, you know, the teachers, they're all busy. They're trying to get them to get the scores high for the test, the test high, because of the pay. But as a TA, you know, I don't have that like, responsibility, so I'm able to socialize and able to, like, communicate with them like just human. Yeah. Not like, hey, sit down, hey, be quiet. Because a lot of times, a, a lot of people in the schools, that's how they, that's how they work, a lot of the TAs and stuff. But I'm like, nah, these are kids and shit. And I knew when I was a kid, I didn't really had nobody to talk to, so you never know. And, you know, so I, I think that helps because, yeah, you never know what somebody's going through. Or taking the initiative to, um, it's hard, but to like text somebody. Like, I'm bad at texting back, but Vino is pretty good at taking the initiative and, and uh, texting me and Roma, like, pretty often, keeping the brotherhood, like, intact and shit. And, Unsung hero. They, 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 they. It helps during the week, you know. And, and I, and I'm tired, and I don't always respond, but it does, it does help me. And I don't always say thank you or you know whatever. Yeah. But, but it does help me, man. Thank you for doing that shit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's something. I, I, I I'll text. I think I'm getting better at it, like texting. I guess texting first, or whatever. I'm not a texter though. I'm a caller. I don't like texting. That's good. I like calling. I like to hear people's voices. Yeah, texting is confusing. Yeah. I, during the week, 
I pissed off the clerk at work. Because of the text. Because the text, bro, it's just fucking. It can sound like you're throwing shade or something. You're just trying to be funny. Hey, it's just funny. Yeah, it's just like. Talking is all I don't know. Like, I like to hear the tone, bro. Because, yeah. like, it'll just get me confused. Yeah. Like, somebody could be mad. I could think that they're kidding. Right. Or the opposite. Yeah. Right. It's just up. <laughs> what about you, Bill? You got any more taking initiative? I don't know, you made it sound like you're gonna have a whole discussion more when you talked about it. Well, I mean, you know, he just. I like, remember one time a homie got drunk. He used to get drunk a lot, because like I said, back in my drinking years, so yeah. I was young, and he was pretty fucked up, and we had to get him home. He, he had to go to work, and his mom was calling him. So I took the initiative, and, uh, you know, I knew I knew he had to get him sobered up, so uh, I took him to the car wash. And I, I told him to stand inside the thing, and uh, we gave him a rinse with that gun. Oh, okay. I imagine the drive through. What in the world? He had thrown up on himself and everything, so I, I, we had to. We, we, Watch we, we had to get, bro. Hey, How'd you drive? I mean, we drove around. <laughs> Shit, just <laughs> jump out with the window down? Yeah. yeah how long did that take? It was summer. I was we 20 years old, bro. And so, you know. There's nothing. Yeah. 20 in the summer, bro. Drunk as fuck. That sounds kind of fun. Your homeboy. Yeah. That's an adventure. Bro, bro. I took this fool home inside, opened up his door, tucked him in and everything, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you know, I said, all right, bro. That's a good friend. We're in your room. You're tucked safe. you in, took your shoes off, bro. Don't get up. He's like, all right, bro. He just got the crew, rolls over. And then, you know, but either way, the next, the, the, when I came back to see him the next day, his mom was like, ah, I see y'all had a good time last night. I'm like, what are you talking about, ma'am? And she's like, you think I can, you know, you see him over here? And my homeboy comes out of the room, he's like. Okay, hung over and I'm Yeah, 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 he can't, I'm like, oh, I'm like. Room spinning. I just kind of looked at her like. I, said, I didn't have as much fun as he did. I don't know, right? know what you think. I feel like those are like really good tests though. Like, you know. Friendship or t- character. I, I guess, like. When angels people, are watching. Yeah, but like when like. The best times are literally like. Test, I guess, your parenthood. Maybe it's like really? like when you have no when you have no kids yet. You like take care of people who are like drunk and shit, like are really fucked up. Like you know, you like tuck them in or whatever. Like you know. I feel like that's just like really good practice. In a way, what's weird is like uh, kids. Kids sometimes, most kids automatically take initiative if they see somebody hurt or suffering or crying. They'll, they'll just be like, yo. What's up? And I hug him and shit, trying to make him feel better. Yeah. I think that gets beaten out of us by society and shit like that. That makes us cold and it's like it's, it's weak to care about what other fit people feel like and shit. It's also it can be overwhelming, but but it's like all about balance and shit. Yeah. I uh, I have to uh, I have to take yeah I gotta take more initiative like with my sister and stuff. I should probably see her more. My dad, I should take more initiative. But man, I like sleeping. <laughs> I like napping, yeah. I like going to sleep. So I have three naps times. and stuff. Yeah. I be doing that too, I feel. Hell yeah. I don't see what that is. Plus the other one. I mean, you just an okay. addendum, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Part two. Yeah. Peace. Peace.